okay, here's the thing. I need to monitor you, manage you on a more micro level. Jim, what's that called? micro -dramat. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Hey, bro, I heard you liked Micromasters. Hello, buddy, DK Dylan's in here, and I got a bunch more Micromasters, so it's time to make another Micromaster Madness, of course. Yes, I am in love with Micromasters, as I said in the previous video I did on Micromasters, where I reviewed all of my uh, current ones I had, and I got a bunch more, so it is now time for another Micromaster Madness. So, I got three new sets of Micromasters, that is six new Micromasters in total to review, so let's jump into it, and let's start off with which one we want to start off with let's start off with the hot rod patrol which consists of daddy -o and trip up and i really 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 like this set this is actually i this guy right here daddy -o, is officially one of my favorite micro masters he is fantastic this dude is uh He's a little, he might be one of the worst ones overall, but Daddy O is fantastic. I absolutely love Daddy O. He is cool, but he's, um, he has a really hard time standing up. Like, if you see here, he like, he, he, he really can't stand up. He's got way too much of a backpack and he doesn't really have any, like, heels. Daddy O here, Daddy O, he doesn't, he doesn't freaking fall over, over anything. He can just, he stands up like it's his job, of course. Good job. There you go. But yeah, I mean, as long as you don't accidentally knock him over, he stands up. He stands up extremely well. So yeah, daddy -o is absolutely fantastic. And let's start off with him because he is clearly my favorite of the pack. And he looks really cool overall. I mean, you can see here, he's got his face right there. Nice picked out in purple right there. You have, I, I do kind of have like this like orange paint kind of bleeding down on the side here. But honestly, I actually kind of like that because I think it makes him look a little more badass and cool. Like he's got like, I don't know, like, I don't know, some kind of like deformation going on in his other face. I don't know. I, I just really like this guy. He's absolutely awesome. He's another contender when I eventually pick a mask off for my channel. This guy might be another contender because I really like him. Right now, the contenders are Rodamuck, him, Red Wing, and Ectotron. So those are the contenders right now. I'll have to pick one eventually. But yeah, love, absolutely love this guy. And also there's another contender coming up very soon in this uh, in this video. But yeah, he is extremely, extremely cool. So there you go. They have Daddy O. Absolutely love him. There's his back right there. One thing that's really, really I love about these, I've had I've been having a ton of fun with, is that these two have these pegs like in this in the perfect location to be like uh like you can take your other bots here. We'll just use Counterpunch for an example here. You can actually just take him, plug him into like the the, the, the hands of your other bots and just kind of have him. I'm sure you can see what I'm going on with. He's like, he's like holding him like a cat by like the scruff of its neck. He's like, I got you now. He's like, put me down, put me down. Yeah, I've been having a ton of fun with this. Really, really little fun, uh, fun little feature. Absolutely, absolutely been having a blast with that. So yeah, that was something I wanted to point out. And uh, Trip Up does have that as well. So yeah, there you go. They have Daddy O. And now for Trip Up, Trip Up is very Minimus Ambus looking. He's got the Minimus Ambus colors right there, but I think he looks solid overall. I do like him. I do wish that they didn't have the screw holes in the in the stomachs right there. I wish they were more uh, solid. Like uh, like for example, here's this dude who doesn't have a screw hole in the in the front. I I just think that the dudes without screw holes in the front are usually a little more nicer to look at overall. But yeah, here's Trip Up. I don't hate Trip Up or anything. I don't hate any of my Micro Masters, but I do think he is probably the weakest Micro Master I have so far. Um, cause he just doesn't stand up to save his life. If he could stand up, he'd be fine. Also, his vehicle mode also have it has an issue, but we're gonna transform Daddy O first, of course. So we're gonna plug his legs together just like that. We're gonna take his arms, we're going to peg them into the side just like that. Just like with Blackjack, you're just going to take your fingers, kind of Splay this piece apart, bring that piece down. You see this piece is on a hinge. You're gonna bring that up and just splay those pieces apart with your fingers, just like Blackjack, and just kind of work that middle piece in like that. And then take the legs, come up, and then they will softly tab into the back there. And there you have Daddy O in his absolutely awesome car mode. And yeah, this looks freaking sweet. It's a Cadillac, and I love Cadillacs. Cadillacs are freaking sweet. One of my one of my dream cars, man. I love Cadillacs. And got that nice engine up front. Really, really awesome. Absolutely love love the way this guy looks. He's he's absolutely awesome. He's got the the Cadillac things on the back there, like fins. Absolutely awesome. The the like hot rod flames on the side there. The nice Autobot logo right there. He is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I absolutely love Daddy O. He is one of my favorite Micro Masters. He is just he's just sweet. This guy captured my heart, man. I love him. So there you have Daddy O. Now for Trip Up, same exact transformation. Plug together, plug his arms together, splay them apart, get the piece in the middle there, bring that up, and get that pegged in place. All 
Although the problem with this guy is this piece just doesn't really tab in. So you have this giant, you have this massive opening in the back at all times. But aside from that, the car mode looks good. I think it's a Mustang and you got that nice little engine up front. So yeah, pretty cool. I like the little blue flames on the side there. Car mode's good. I just wish this would peg in place. And I tried to fix it with some super glue. I tried to thicken up the pegs, but it didn't work at all. They just, uh, they just will not, they just will not tab together. So yeah, trip up is definitely not the best MicroMaster, but He's solid. I don't hate him overall. And the set is definitely worth it for Daddy O because Daddy O is fantastic. But yeah, there you have Trip Up. And that completes the Hot Rod Patrol. Next up, we have, let's do this one next. We'll do, actually, no, since they're Autobots, it would make more sense to do a Decepticon next. So this is the Military Patrol. And this is an excellent set. This is the last, this is the other guy that I say is a contender for being the mascot of my channel because this guy is absolutely fantastic. But both of these guys are really great. This is actually, I think, one of the best Micro Master sets overall. Both of these guys I think are outstanding micro masters so let's jump into this let's start off with uh what is the guy's name growl growl uh he is my favorite of the set because he is just absolutely awesome I love this dude overall he's got really great paint apps this nice silver picked out in the torso right there his head sculpt is very cool hard to see I know because of it because it's just my, my camera just cannot focus on these micro masters but his head sculpt is really cool he's got an awesome like Megatron-esque fusion cannon right there which is really really awesome yeah this guy looks sweet his Decepticon logo on the uh, torso there absolutely love this once again just further proving my point that these guys just look so much better when they don't have a giant screw hole in the torso right there but yeah absolutely love the way this guy looks he is so so very cool there's the back yeah really 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 awesome and then here is this guy's name is bomb shock here is bomb shock and he is quite cool as well i really like this guy because of this last little piece of transformation this piece right here you have that piece up and then you just bring that piece down and it totally completes the look i absolutely love the way that 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 works so yeah he is really nice overall. He's got some nice heels. Both of these guys, uh, well, actually, Growl does kind of have an issue standing up, but all you have to do is angle him forward a little bit, and he's perfectly fine, as you can see right there. If you have him, like, standing straight up, you can kind of counterbalance the weight by, like, bringing his arm with the fusion cannon out. That will kind of counterbalance him a little bit right there. So, yeah, uh, they, they do stand up pretty well overall, but I do definitely think that Bomb Shock does stand up a little bit better because he actually has dedicated heels in the back there, which is really, really, really nice. But, yeah, and the paint job on him is really, really nice. You can see they even picked out his hand in a nice like gunmetal gray right there absolutely love that his head is picked out in a nice blue as well very very nice overall i really like the way that this guy looks all right now for transformation bomb shock i mean uh, growl has maybe my favorite micromaster transformation it is so fun it is so freaking fun so what you do you're going to take his fusion cannon off yes he does parts form a little bit but honestly if you don't want to parts form him you can just take your fusion the fusion cannon and throw it in your accessory drawer and never look at it ever again but it will kind of be incomplete without it but uh yeah he does kind of parts form a little bit so take that piece off and you're going to take the legs tab them together just like that we're going to take this piece on the back here, bring that up, and then bring that, bring that entire piece back just like that, and that's going to allow you to bring his head and pull it down just like that, and then bring the entire front piece forward just like that. Take the arms, and they will tab into the side there. You see you have a little slot, and that's going to go into that tab right there, so boom, on both sides just like that and then this is my favorite part you bring this piece down and then that pegs in place right there and then you bring this piece back and that fills in his awesome looking at car mode like i said this guy is easily one of my favorite micro masters i love this dude another contender for the mascot of my channel man he is awesome i love this guy very 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 cool he got the nice uh, silver grill picked out there of course we peg his gun up top to complete the look and there you go there you have growl in his awesome vehicle mode yeah this guy is sweet definitely one of my favorites Alrighty, now for tank man his transformation is not quite as fun Ooh. That was weird. Um, this transformation is not quite as fun, but still kind of fun. So take his legs. We're going to kind of interlock them just like that. They're kind of hard to just kind of peg together, but just interlock them. Bring his heels back like that. And then you're going to take his arms here. We're going to take the little middle piece here. This is a highlight, though. I love the way the little middle piece shows uh, goes up like that. That is just awesome. Take his arms. Bring them back just like that. They will kind of softly tab in place in the back there just like that. And then bring the legs up. And you kind of have to sneak them underneath the turret just like that not hard or anything and then just rotate the turret around and there you have bomb shock in his tank mode and his tank mode could is like the most basic generic boring looking tank i've ever seen in my life like there's like almost no paint on it whatsoever it's just 
really, really, really boring looking, kind of ugly, honestly, and it definitely doesn't look nearly as cool as uh, Growl's awesome vehicle mode. But there you go, they have the Military Patrol. I personally think this is one of the strongest MicroMaster sets. I would say this is by far a must-have for MicroMasters. Just an awesome set overall. We'll obviously rank all of these sets at the end of the video, but yeah, Military Patrol is going to be... High ranked, I'm just going to spoil that. And the final patrol we have is the Rescue Patrol, and they are very, very cool. So we have Red Heat and Stakeout, I think is what they're called. Red Heat and Stakeout. Really, really, really like both of these guys. Red Heat here is a remold of Top Shot, and I have to say I definitely like him way more than Top Shot. I'll grab Top Shot real quick. There he is. There's Top Shot right there. Top Shot is just so boring with these, like, brown and gray. He's just not very pleasing to look at, but, but Red Heat here, he just pops. He's this nice red and he's got this awesome blue for his head scope right there way more fun to look at way more fun to look at also he has a fully functional little uh flip out piece for his little uh ladder right there because he turns into a fire truck and he has this nice little fold out piece for his ladder do you have that top shot no you don't you just have that shitty little turret right there this guy has it oh has his own little dedicated part which is super 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 cool so yeah there you go there is red heat absolutely really 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 like this guy he's a little floppy his joints are a little floppy i could fix that if i I just uh, if I just took the time, I could just uh, thicken up those ball joints with some super glue, and that would be completely fixed. But uh, yeah, I will probably do it eventually. Just haven't really wanted to sit down and do it yet. But I, I don't know. I'll probably do it pretty soon though, because I do really like Red Heat here. So there you go. There is Red Heat has no problem standing up either. Really, really nice because he has the same heels that Top Shot has. So yeah, he does not have a problem standing up whatsoever. And next up, we have Stakeout, who is probably my favorite of this set, actually. I like Stakeout a lot. He is definitely, he's obviously supposed to be like a police officer. And my favorite thing about this guy is his head sculpt. His head sculpt, I really hope you can see it on camera. His head sculpt is like a police, like motorcycle helmet. It, it looks 100% like a police motorcycle helmet. It's so cool. It has like the goggles over it. It's just absolutely awesome. I really like the way this guy looks. He is sweet, man. I like Steak out a lot. He is kind of, he's very similar to, uh, to Hyperdrive. Very similar to Hyperdrive, but a little bit better. I definitely think he's better than Hyperdrive. But, uh, yeah. Sweet figure. Really like him. So, we'll transform, uh, Red Heat first. So, obviously he transforms just like, um, Top Shot. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to peg the legs together, bring down the heels just like that, bring the arms up, they will peg into the sides just like that. You're gonna take this piece, you're gonna rotate it a little bit just so about to there so you have clearance to bring the legs up and get the heel pieces tabbed in to the back right there and then once you have that you just bring that back around just like Top Shot had to like fold the uh, the turret around to get those pieces over you just have to bring it over a little bit to get those in there and there you go there you have Red Heat in his fire truck mode and fire truck mode is a little bit meh but it wasn't good on Top Shot either so yeah it's this this vehicle mode is just very flawed overall I'm not a fan of this vehicle mode but the robot mode is definitely better than Top Shot and honestly neither of these vehicle modes I think are all that great so yeah there you go there you have uh, what is this guy's name? Red Heat, Red Heat, I almost forgot. Yeah, Red Heat, solid little MicroMaster. I like him quite a bit. And now for Stakeout, which once again is probably my favorite of the set, you're just gonna peg his legs together just like this. He transforms just like Hyperdrive. Bring in the arms, they peg into either side, just like that. This one always gives me a bit of a hard time. Take the front piece and it's on his little double hinge. It's gonna come down. You wanna make sure you get it in the right way and that will have that go down and bring that up and there you have Stakeout in his police car all mode. And it looks sweet. Like, this guy is, like, totally decked out with paint. He's got the siren on the side. He's got these nice little Cybertronian markings on the side there. Absolutely fantastic. I love the way he looks. He is definitely one of the most well-painted MicroMasters overall. I think, uh, yeah, definitely my favorites of each of these sets are these three right here. These three are definitely my favorite. These are honestly three of my favorite MicroMasters. I think I might like these three more than the any of the ones I said were my favorite in the first one. The, the, the battle squad the one with the two that combine together um this one right here this one is still i think the overall strongest micromaster said this is definitely the must have because they're just really really good in general but overall i think that those three i just showed you are my new favorites those guys are really 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 cool and i still really like powertrain as well he's also one of my favorites but yeah there you go. Alrighty, so let's get to our final rankings on the set. So first up, the Hot Rod Patrol. I want to give the Hot Rod Patrol an S tier just for Daddy-O, because Daddy-O is fantastic. I absolutely love Daddy-O, but Trip Up brings it down to a B tier for me. No, I'm going, I'm going A minus, A minus, A minus for this set, because Daddy-O is fantastic. I definitely say Daddy-O is worth getting. Also, one thing I forgot to point out, Daddy-O, 
His, uh, well, actually both of them. Their back tire is like significantly bigger than the front tire. I just think that's fun. I just think that's really fun. So yeah, let's go with an A minus on this. Daddy-O is outstanding. Trip Up is just kind of yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, Trip Up is good. He just doesn't stand up very well. Like Trip Up is a very good name for this dude because he cannot stand up very well. And also that back part of the vehicle mode being open is a little annoying as well. But yeah, this set, A minus. Military Patrol, I think I'm going to give that, this set an S tier. I think both of these figures are really, really great. Growl is one of my favorites of all time. And uh, yeah, Bomb Shock is really good as well. His robot mode is definitely the standout between his two modes. But this is an S tier. I think this set is pretty solid. And the Rescue Patrol, uh, both of these guys I think are great. I think Red Heat's vehicle mode is kind of shit. But aside from that, I think they're pretty good. I'll say... I'll say... I'll say A- minus for them as well. I think A- minus is a good one. Now, you know what? Let's just go with a straight A on this one because they're both really good in vehicle, in, in all, um, in robot mode and his vehicle mode is great. His vehicle mode is kind of shit, although it does have this cool little flip out piece, obviously, which is also kind of cool. So yeah, A, solid A for this set. Pretty, pretty solid overall. So there you go, everybody. There you have Micro Madness Part 2, the second of, uh, of my Micro Masters. Yeah, I love Micro Masters. I'm definitely, there's definitely more sets that I'm interested in getting. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite Micro Master of the ones I reviewed in this video. What's your favorite Micro Master in general? Do you have a favorite? Do you like Micro Masters? Do you not like Micro Masters? Let me know. And with that being said, this is EK Guillotine. Uh, signing out.